Hello, this is Sarah Brosh. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk about how I almost, well, I'm still intermittently suicidal this week, but I want to talk about how uh, the attorney and activist Josie Duffy Rice and the actress Patricia Arquette and also the attorney in New York City, Rebecca Kavanaugh, incited a mob against me on Twitter and almost drove me to suicide. And I've been intermittently suicidal this week and I am just as devastated about George Floyd's death as the entire country is. And of course the entire country has been in turmoil and these woke intersectional feminists on Twitter, and it wasn't just Josie Duffy Rice, Patricia Arquette, and Rebecca Cavanaugh, but they were the three main instigators. So the woke intersectional feminists on Twitter thought that this was a perfect moment when everyone's reeling from the death of George Floyd, the entire country is in turmoil, they thought that this was the perfect moment to try to drive an innocent human and civil rights activist to suicide and for moral outrage, industry, profit, and gain. They think that this makes them social justice activists to destroy my lifelong and well-documented human and civil rights academic and legal careers and to destroy my life and to drive me to suicide. They think that this was the right thing to do during this week when everyone is reeling and devastated by the death of George Floyd. So basically they were exploiting George Floyd's death to push a more than two year old, very obvious hate crime hoax, the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale for moral outrage industry profit and gain, thereby helping to destroy the Living While Black movement. That's what they thought was the best use of their time this week. Instead of addressing actual racism and police brutality, instead of addressing the actual killing of George Floyd, Josie Duffy Rice, of The Appeal, Rebecca Kavanaugh of The Appeal, and Patricia Arquette, as well as many other woke intersectional feminists, thought the best thing they could do with their time in the wake of George Floyd's death was to exploit George Floyd's death for moral outrage industry, profit, and gain at the expense of my life. They thought the best use of their time this week in the wake of George Floyd's death was to try to drive me to suicide, an entirely innocent, lifelong, well-documented human and civil rights activist and licensed attorney. They thought driving me to suicide was the best use of their time this week in the wake of George Floyd's death. They had absolutely no moral compunction, absolutely no qualms about exploiting George Floyd's death, the death of a black man, for moral outrage industry profit and gain. They had absolutely no moral compunction, absolutely no moral qualms about destroying the Living While Black movement, which was already defunct until recently. They are evil. Let me say that. Let me be very, very clear about this. Josie Duffy Rice is evil. Patricia Arquette is evil. Rebecca Kavanaugh is evil. What they did to me this week was evil. And I saw all of their tweets about me. And they were disgusting and despicable. They were relishing driving me to suicide. They were explicitly and specifically targeting me for my mental health disabilities. They were stigmatizing mental illness. They were trying to paint me as some dangerous, violent psychotic. 
when they were the ones who were trying to drive me to suicide. They were the ones that were exploiting George Floyd's death for moral outrage industry profit and gain and trying to drive me to suicide for moral outrage industry profit and gain. I don't know how Josie Duffy Rice, Patricia Arquette, or Rebecca Kavanaugh sleep at night. I don't know how they look themselves in the mirror in the morning. And I want to tell all three of them. I want to tell you, Josie Duffy Rice, you are evil. And you need to beg God for forgiveness because I don't have it in me to forgive you for what you did to me this week. Patricia Arquette, I want to tell you, you are evil. And you need to beg God for forgiveness for what you did to me this week because I don't have it in me to forgive you. Rebecca Kavanaugh, I want to tell you that you are evil and you need to beg God for forgiveness for what you did to me this week because I don't have it in me to forgive you. You are all evil, despicable, horrid, horrid, horrible, vile monsters. You are monsters. And you did, you are elitist monsters. You did exactly to me what the Yale administration and students did to me. They targeted me for my mental health disabilities and they had terrorized me for months in my isolated dorm room. And they stalked me across campus. And this past week, the three of you, as well as many other woke intersectional feminists who joined in the fray, you terrorized me and almost drove me to suicide and I'm still intermittently suicidal this week. You are despicable. You are despicable. You are horrible. You are disgusting. You disgust me. I don't know how any of you sleep at night. You all need to beg God for forgiveness for what you did to me. I am the entirely innocent victim of the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale. The Yale administration and police were complicit. I am currently fighting in front of the Connecticut Freedom of Information Act Commission for the Yale campus police body camera footage that exposes Yale's gross malfeasance. I have also submitted a FERPA request for Yale's internal emails, and I believe that those emails will confirm the Yale administration and police's complicity, as well as a number of other entities, including the ACLU and the New York Times and CNN, among others. All you had to do to know that I was a well-documented and entirely innocent human and civil rights activist was Google my name. You didn't bother to Google my name and you made jokes about how my life was worthless because I'm not verified on Twitter. Jack, you need to do something about blue check marks and verified Twitter accounts because it's very obvious from the tweets of Josie Duffy Rice and Patricia Arquette and Rebecca Kavanaugh that they view their verified Twitter accounts as a license to mob and harass innocent people and drive them to suicide and to target people with mental health disabilities, vulnerable people, people who are vulnerable to suicide. You need to do something about this. This is completely unacceptable. Why is it okay for them to mob me, harass me, abuse me? Do you know how many death threats I received this week because of them inciting a mob against me? I know you know, I know you saw them. I know you saw them. I risked my career, I risked my career to try to get a black man hired at Yale as a professor. I used my JD, do you wanna know what I used my JD to do, Josie Duffy Rice? I used my JD to move to France and to help African women immigrants and their children get visas to live in France. I spent days sitting with them in government offices in Paris to make sure that they wouldn't be discriminated against during the visa application process. That's what I did. What have you done? What have you done for African immigrant women and children? What have you done? If you actually cared about racism and police brutality, then you wouldn't have spent the past two years targeting vulnerable 
white women as collective punishment for Trump's election, for moral outrage industry profit and gain, thereby destroying the living while black movement. You know what you would have been doing? You would have been actually addressing racism and police brutality. You would have been actually addressing racism and police brutality. You are all evil and despicable, horrible excuses for human beings, and you should be ashamed of yourselves. And I hope you pray to God for forgiveness. I'm sorry, I'm so upset about what they did to me this week. It's obviously been an incredibly difficult week and I'm, I'm trying to keep it together. I will have my PayPal me and GoFundMe links below. Please support me, please donate to my legal fund so that I can sue Josie Duffy Rice, so that I can sue Patricia Arquette, so that I can sue Rebecca Kavanaugh, so that I can sue Twitter, so that I can sue the entire moral outrage industry, and so that I can sue Yale. Okay, have a great night everybody, take care.